how to fix update kv5050021 failed to install in windows 11 23h2 hello friends follow the steps to fix it install the update from microsoft update catalog go to the video description and click on the microsoft update catalog link you will have access to this space find the file supporting your system here files are for arm64 and x64 based systems check on your computer what is the system type click on start settings go to system scroll down go to about here is system type 64 bit operating system x64 based processor close the settings windows 11 23 h24 x64 based systems this file is compatible with my computer check yours and click on download click on this link let the download complete once completed click on the file explorer icon go to the download folder which is usually the download location for users right click on the just downloaded update file select open after a couple of restarts the update will be installed if the issue still persists modify services click on search type services click on uh, services go to windows update first this is windows update service right click on this service select uh, properties make sure that a startup type is automatic if not click on this drop down and select automatic service status must be running if it is a stop the start will be highlighted click on start click on apply click on ok right click on uh, windows update select restart now come to background intelligent transfer service this service right click and select uh, properties change the startup type to automatic click on this drop down select automatic and click on start click on apply and click on ok right click on uh, background intelligent transfer service select restart now look for cryptographic services right click on this service select properties the startup type should be automatic here also and service status should be running click on apply click on ok right click on uh, cryptographic services select restart close the services application click on start click on settings go to windows update and click on check for updates the next step is reset windows update components click on search type cmd right click on command prompt select run as administrator click on yes on the user account control pop-up these are commands to reset windows update cache all these commands are given in the description run the windows update cache commands one by one copy the first one paste into the command prompt press enter copy the second one paste into the command prompt press enter in the same way run all these commands close the command prompt close uh, the other running files and applications and restart your computer you can also reset windows update components using downloadable file go to this link from the description this file will be downloaded click on show in folder icon 
select this file click on extract all select extract click on more info select run anyway click on yes click on ok 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 click ok on all the pop-ups coming out once completed restart your computer and then check for updates If the cumulative update is downloaded, restart your computer. Run system files checker and DISM utilities. Click on search, type CMD. Select run as administrator. Click on yes on the USC pop up. Type SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Run the ASM command. The ASM restore health command is sufficient. Copy this command. Paste into the command prompt and hit enter. Close the command prompt and restart your computer. And then try to install the update. Check if enough uh, disk space is available on your computer to accommodate the update. The update size is approximately 785.0 MB. Click on File Explorer icon. Click on this PC. Sufficient disk space is available. If short of disk space, then click on search. Type clean MGR. Hit enter on the keyboard. Select the correct drive. Click on OK. Click on clean up system files. Again OK. Make sure that all the boxes are checked. Click on OK. Click on Delete Files. Once completed, go to Windows Update. And try to install the patch. That's all friends, thanks for watching the video.